Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I will explain some more problems related to permutations and combinations. Let's see the first question in this session. See here, in how many ways can five men and two ladies be arranged at a round table? At a round table, if two ladies are never together, if two ladies are never together. See, let us take a circle. Here, this is a circle. And uh, we need to arrange uh, these seven members, five men and uh, two ladies. Uh, five men and two ladies, uh, we need to arrange these seven members uh, in a circle. And uh, circle in the sense, round table. And the condition which is given as two ladies uh, are never together. Two ladies are never together. It means first you can arrange uh, five men. You can arrange five men on a circle that is uh, four factorial ways uh, why because uh, if you are arranging uh, persons uh, on a circle you can able to arrange n persons uh, on a circle that is n minus 1 factorial here n is equal to 5 5 minus 1 which is equal to four factorial ways uh, all these are men these are the five men these five men can be arranged in uh, four factorial ways now as we have the condition that two ladies are never together. If we want two ladies are never together, we need to place the ladies between all the men only. Here, we, between the men, we have total five positions. One, two, three, four, five. These are the five positions which are left over and we need to arrange two ladies in these five positions. Arranging two members uh, out of uh, five places, that is 5p2 ways. Uh, now, the required answer is uh, 4 factorial into 5p2. Here, 4 factorial is nothing but uh, 24 and 5p2 means 5 into 4. Here, this value is 20, 20 into 24, 20 into 24, which is equal to 480. 480 is the required answer for this question. Let's move on to the next question. See here, in how many ways six boys be arranged at a round table so that two particular boys are always together? See here, let us take a circle. Total six boys are there. Total six boys. Out of those six boys, the condition which is given as two particular boys are always together. Still, we left over with four boys. Four plus we need to take these two boys as single entity. Why? Because uh, these two boys are always uh, together. Whenever we are select, uh, we are taking these two as single entity, four boys, remaining four boys plus one single entity, five members. These five members can be arranged uh, around a table in four factorial ways. Why? Because uh, five minus one, n minus one factorial ways. Uh, in 2. Answer is not yet completed. Again, within the single entity, these two boys, boy 1 and boy 2, these two boys can be arranged in uh, two factorial ways uh, within the single entity. Therefore, the required answer is 4 factorial into 2 factorial. 4 factorial is equal to 24 and 2 factorial means 2. Therefore, the required answer is uh, 48. 48 is the required answer for this question. Let's move on to the next question. See here, very important problem. Listen carefully. How many five-digit numbers, how many five-digit numbers which are divisible by three, which are divisible by three, can be formed by using the digits uh, 0, 3, 5, 9, 1 and 6. Uh, Total six digits are given. We need to form a five digit number. That particular five digit number is again divisible by three. That is the given condition such that any digit is used at most once. At most once in the sense uh, you need to use a single digit uh, only once. Uh, here directly he mentions that repetition of digits are not allowed. Repetition of digits are not allowed. Now, we are forming a five-digit number. We are forming which digit number? 
five digit number and that to that particular five digit number is must be divisible by three. First of all, to solve uh, this problem, you must know the divisibility rule of three. What is divisibility rule of three? Divisibility rule of three is sum of all the digits. Sum of all the digits of that number. Sum of the digits divisible by three. That is the divisibility rule of three. Now total in this problem we have given uh, six digits. First of all, uh, sum of all the digits, uh, sum of all six digits is equal to zero plus three plus five plus nine plus one plus six. Once count sum of all six digits, what you are getting? Why? Because uh, we need to form a five digit number. It means uh, you need to remove one number out of those uh, six. So definitely one digit out of those six. So definitely first of all you must know what is the sum of all the six digits. Once you got that particular result uh, then you can able to identify which digit uh, can be removed from the list of six. See here nine plus one ten sixteen twenty one twenty four. Sum of all six digits which is equal to 24. Here this particular 24 is divisible by 3. Yes or no? This particular 24 is divisible by 3. So definitely if you remove 3 multiples, if you remove 3 multiples uh, from the list uh, then that particular number is definitely that particular 5 digit number is divisible by 3. Three. If you remove 1, 5, suppose if you remove 1, the sum of digits is equal to 23. If you remove 5, sum of digits is equal to 19. Suppose if you remove 3, sum of digits is equal to 21. 21 is again divisible by 3. If you remove 6, 18, that is also divisible by 3. If you remove 9, then it is 15. 15 also divisible by 3. So, as the sum of all six digits is divisible by three. So we have to remove one single digit. That particular digit is uh, first I will remove zero. If I remove zero, the digits are three, five, nine, one, six. This is one possible case. And the second possible case, if I remove uh, three, three is also possible. 0 is possible, 9 is possible, 6 is possible. And next, if I remove 3, the digits are 0, 5, 9, 1, 6. Next, if I remove 9, the digits are 0, 3, 5, 1, 6. And next, if I remove 6, the digits are 0, 3, 5, 9, 1. These are the digits. Now, you can arrange these five digits in five places. Here we have five places. Five places and five digits are there and among those five digits we don't have zero. So definitely your answer is five factorial. Five places are there and five digits are there. We can arrange those five uh, digits in five places in five factorial ways. Five factorial is equal to 120. And next second one. Here in the second case, uh, in these five digits, we have the digit uh, 0. We have the digit 0 from second case, third case as well as uh, fourth case. If 0 is there, any number cannot start with 0. Any number cannot start with uh, 0. So, first place can be arranged with any of the remaining 4. Any of the remaining 4. And after that, remaining four places are there and uh, we will be left over with uh, four digits. Four places and four digits. We can arrange four digits in four places. That is uh, four into four factorial. What is four into four factorial? Four into four factorial. Four factorial means 24. Four into 24, which is equal to 96. Similarly, third way is also same thing. 4 into 4 factorial. Why? Because here also 0 is there. First place can be arranged in 4 ways and remaining 4 are 
4 factorial. 4 into 4 factorial that is 96. Again last one is also same thing. 4 into 4 factorial which will give you 96. After that you can add all the values. Here it is 18 and next uh, here it is 27 plus 3 30 and next uh, 3 plus 1 4. 4 not 8. Total 4 not 8 uh, 5 digit numbers are formed which are divisible by 3 by using the digits 0, 3, 5, 9, 1 and uh, 6. Uh, and uh, the condition is we have to use each and every digit only once. Uh, max At most once in the sense maximum 1. Guys, I hope you understand the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.